I'm gonna restart the recording. Stream stream continues though. And we continue. So uh, maybe you can ask your mum to buy one or nothing. I don't know about bringing Saturday that up. Saturday blank. Let's not do uh, yeah. that. It's almost bedtime. I get closer to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires into the sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look again. All the legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Oh, let's not go it's there, not okay? Hmm. I stand up and study the sketchbook from inches away. Its pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page the way it should be. Too bad, I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilly wind breaks into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no! Oh no! I shut my eyes. The distinctive sound of pages turning echoes with headache Get in back. my head. I know what's gonna happen. The rustling has stopped, even no, though the wind is still Mordecai X calling. Twilight. Oh no! no. Not, Not the kissing. shining yeah, stars. Just, um, uh, they're just saying goodbye. It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. If I wait a little while longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look. If I wait a little longer, if I wait... Maybe we should wait a bit. Wake up, Mr. Freeman. Maybe we should Wake wait. Up and smell the ashes. I think we should wait a little bit in in-game time to see if that changes the outcome. Maybe I played the Stanley Parable and it said to wait for twenty minutes. And I did and nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. Oh, uh, I I'd love happened. I'd love to play the Stanley Parable on stream. It was just the demo. I played the demo. Ah, uh, the deluxe version came out. Oh, this, the super deluxe. Year. Yeah. Don't know how much it changes, but I, I remember watching the Stanley Parable on YouTube. I thought like it was a new game. Ago. I think it's like a big rework. Okay. If I play the demo, I know one bit says wait for twenty minutes. And I did, and it didn't do anything. Hmm. No. Oh, okay. It's okay. Just do it. No way. I know you're lying. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. No. Calm down. Calm no. Down. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. I open my eyes with the utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings, nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know, did you? You're the smart one here, you tell me. I don't know, you're pretty smart. There was no wind animation. Uh, next time, don't close your eyes. What did you... I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it, I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows louder, the pages lift up. I can almost see the outlines of drawings in previous pages. No way, everything is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me, that's it, I'm closing my eyes. Drawings look, are still in the present. A barely visible light seeps through the pages with every new get gust, it becomes brighter and brighter. A firefly. The wind immediately stops for a moment, the world sinks into perfect silence, but only for a moment. The buzz that has always been haunted haunting me fills the surroundings but it doesn't matter now goodness gracious little boy you've made me so scared the firefly blinks flies up and enters my ear buzzing loudly all the way it spends some time looking for the perfect spot in my head but then its buzzing dies down phew are you okay we're running short on time so let's continue searching so i think it's time to end so to end oh no fan fan, fan? I keep I keep thinking we've done the fan already. <laughs> What's funny <laughs> about that? I imagined myself a firefly that is looking straight at a giant fan, and it'd be I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying is a cage that's locked in, and the cable. It's like an in inmate if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. Okay, so one thing that I really actually thought was clever about the first game is there's a bit when uh i had the 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 milk inside a bag yeah we we're walking back home she was like I feel like a mile of ice cream oh i remember that yeah remember that and and, and you have the option to to uh to let her explain it or not and i, I did because i was interested and she's yeah. like well 
with my body and this milk, I'm thirty. Uh, the ratio of water to milk is thirty to one right now. Yeah. So I'm like cheap watered down ice cream, and I'm walking a mile back home. So she felt like a mile of cheap ice cream. That's pretty good. So I, it was pretty funny, to be honest. I think some of the writing in this is is very good, just fun. Yeah, and I like how it's. I mean, I was worried it might be a bit edgy. Yeah. To start. It's not. It's just kind of ditzy, and it's. Honest, I, I kind guess. of, and it's not afraid of yeah. doing stuff like being in circles for a while. I kind of want to at its own pace, you know. Yeah, I I didn't like some interesting observations too. I I didn't like the beginning um at, at first because of how it felt a bit edgy, it felt a bit cringy. But then yeah. I I kind of remember like when you have a really bad like panic attack or anxiety attack, it it's terrible, and it is like that. Um, it can be like that, uh, it, but retroactively, you think about it and you're like, "No, I was, I was overblowing that," and you, you kind of it, yeah, were and you one weren't. Of those things, mm. it's one of those things where it's tough to gauge because it feels like a big thing, but obviously, it, it also kind of isn't, and it's hard to allow yourself to validate it. Whilst, yeah, it is because it, it's not a good experience, but it also seems so uh, mild. It's trifling that it, it 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 it's mundane in a sense, but it it I've had panic attacks where it really messes up my whole day. Yeah, you, know? so you need to give yourself uh give yourself too much grief and you know, just allow yourself to feel what you feel. Mm. I I also feel like acknowledging like it is it is as bad as you think. Um, and if you say it like that, um. I think it's better for you because then people will kind of understand even, <laughs> even if it's as bad as the experience is. Yeah, it's that's, that's it. it is. And I think when, when I described that to some people, um, like I got better results and like, I felt like I was seen more uh, because it, that was exactly like what, what I was experiencing, even if it felt like it was um, too much for me, uh, like it was hi hyperbolic. Um, yeah, but then like people can understand more, and I think that's important. And and so with the the start of this game, I kind of accept it more now, thinking through it that way. Yeah, I I am pretty sensitive, and whenever I like uh, uh get triggered by a certain thing, mm. I I am very open with how I feel. Yeah, like, I'm open with the intensity. Like if it makes me feel sick, I'll say it. Oh, that made me feel sick. You know, it's it's not good to try and stifle your own feelings, even if it seems like if it seems like something very normal that 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 set me off. I still felt sick, so it's not good to try and embezzle that. Hmm. I like that word, embezzle. Yeah. So, so do you want to finish searching? Yeah. So we're gonna it's late and everything. We're gonna ignore the bin, the pills, the bin, and the, the pile, and the and the. Sure, I'm. I'm. I agree with that. I've managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going to, going back to the starting point. No changes. Changes at all. A zero sum. Uh, and happiness is always about being positive, right? Um, you shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? We'll go to the balcony, breathe in some air. Somehow those words triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously stepped away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? He has a thing about windows, it okay. seems. Hmm. This may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. It's me. Um, that's really mean. It's Trenton's uh, 50 viewers. Um, let's stay here. I really don't want to say that. Me neither. Yeah. 
What are you going to do? What's with this silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hope, hoping that tomorrow will come after a year or de a decade. Oh my god, mortal shell! I want to go... I want to talk about that last That's line. The, the The last line. I shouldn't have moved on so quickly, but... Uh, the, can hope. you scroll? You can press the scroll wheel. No. Does it go back? No. The last game, if you scrolled it, it went back. No. But uh, next day being a decade, because when I thought of that, I remembered my dreams that I have where sometimes I'm in a situation or like in a previous school. Okay. And I feel like very isolated and outcast. So I like in somewhere and I lay down. I stay there for like years. Oh, that's very. Uh, it strange. only feels like hours. Yeah. I'm still laying down for hours, and then I, I like reemerge after years, and I hope that people care about me. And they're like, oh my god, where have you been? You know, we've been we've missed you, right? Hmm. Because before they like didn't care about me, but what always happens is I end up coming back, and everybody's not there anymore because they've all like graduated or moved on. Like yeah. I, I, I wanted to wait for a while, but I ended up waiting longer and longer until when I reemerged, everybody had moved on. That's that's a really visceral dream state. It happens quite a lot. I don't. It's a common theme in my dreams. Hmm. But I I definitely feel that with the year and the decade thing, because it feels like I want to lay there for a year, but I end up overshooting by like a decade, and hmm. everyone's just moved on, and I've ended up wasting my life. I kind of. I kind of see it as like um, waiting for tomorrow. Um, I kind of, I've kind of forgotten what it it said then. Uh, waiting for tomorrow, whether it be like a year or a decade, um, I feel like is her saying. She says she hopes it takes a, a year or that tomorrow will come in a year or a decade. Hmm. Did she say hopes? I think so. I hmm. I don't know if she said hopes. I could have misread it though um but but how i interpreted that at that moment was like um just moving on from the state you're in um because th there's a very heavy sense of stagnance um which i think uh, accompanies a lot of mental health stuff um and then that just that i i found it so poetic just it could take a year or a decade because it, it, it just feels so long when you're in those situations and for some people it does take years or decades and for some it it could just be like a month where you feel really down and and stuff but to, it could feel like a year or a decade for you um but i do get the sense like this state of being for her is just going on and on and on um, it's like a, it, yeah actually with the cycle stuff when you the last dialogue in the first game yeah and immediately cuts to the first dialogue at the start of the game okay so it's like flawlessly when you end the game it starts again immediately so uh, yeah when i played it it ended and then i realized oh i'm back at the start so i saved and quit out mm. well cy so loop. cycle is a, such a big thing with um psychology and and just mental health stuff. That's why it's called psych psychology. <laughs> <game>. <laughs> I don't think that's why it's um, called psychology, but maybe. That I maybe. I do like yeah. like psychology. Um, flash news: Cactus broke his window. <laughs> oh, <laughs> How? Out of it. I hope. I hope he wasn't by jumping out. I hope he means like he the handle broke or something. It didn't and, crack. And the window oh, didn't I, smash. <laughs> He, he he hated like our song and stuff Let, earlier. You're letting in the the cold Russian summer breeze. Hmm. Either um, either he he disliked the singing earlier, or he like remembered Silent Hill Homecoming and smashed his window. Was, maybe he had us like really loud. <laughs> he threw he threw the computer. He had us on really loud, and when when we were singing, the window broke. Oh, that's a good theory too. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow never comes. It's always today. <laughs> okay, let's keep let's keep trucking. Mortal shell. Imagine myself to be outside of my mortal shell, uh, not sponsored, uh, but at the same time still being me, ridiculous, like milk outside a bag of milk, and yet 
And yet, you don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow. And never ever. That's goodbye then. No. I have one more small favor to ask. A really small one. What is it? Be you fool. I blurted out way too much today. A lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but... Was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I wouldn't be able to sleep like this. Fine, what's the favor? I, um... I nervously scratch my wrists and bite on my lower lip. Bite wait, lower lip. Wait a minute, you're afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad I'm happens... To milk. Something worse will happen. Stop, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you. No, you. Funny story. I have a dream about Silent Hill Homecoming today. In my dream, we finished the no! game. No! No! No, she's dreaming of Silent Hill Homecoming! So, I wanted to call attention to Jesus because she said milk outside a bag. Yeah. Because that's the title, and I was wondering how, like, is it mostly because outside, inside, but book is inside the bag. Um. So she said, I imagine myself to be outside of my, so outside of herself, own being, dissociation, yeah. whatever. But at the same time, being me, ridiculous like milk, ridiculous like milk outside a bag of milk. So ridiculous like using the milk. He yeah. Having a bag of milk and there being milk outside of it. So it's... She's just a, a big milk bag. Because she's in a sleeping bag. Do you get it? It's all tied together. Okay. Uh, I think there was some stuff there that... Kind it all of makes sense if you think about it. ...interested me in... Mm. That could be... There could be a, a theory or something there with the titles. I think... That could explain some stuff. A dream. I I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets, even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know it was a joke. Well, anyway, I washed my face, brushed my teeth, lied down, and started imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and always looked sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in the most unexpected of places. Uh, bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know. Then one day, I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes, letters and eyes were hanging over me and hissing. It was horrible. And, well, deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they like this place. They always follow in my wake, peeping at me, and I'm kind of scared of them and can't even argue with them. But today, today, well, I still too scared to tell me. Of course, they're still listening, you know. Use your hands. All right. I started chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. And I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax, nobody can hear you. So what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly. But it's not. And meaningless? You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Fine. Close your eyes. Ah! Oh, 
Zora's original game. Oh. Epic. I wake up on a wooden bench. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley. An awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. I hear a voice oh. coming from the side. I turn and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. A male. You're late. Who are you? The boy blinks in bewilderment. You're not going anywhere like this. Try again. Then he takes a very deep breath. You are late. I stare at him, confused. He stares back, also confused. Sorry? The boy nods, That's satisfied. Normal. See, much better. Do you have a name? My name's Traska. I give the brat an evaluating look. He's so young, yet already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business. And besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's something, somebody else here besides me. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know for one. About what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Tresca says that and strikes a victory pose. Number one victory royal. Chicken dinner. Uh, no way I'm doing that. Uh, you do understand that refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? He's weird, constantly hey. shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, silence. He's a wacko, and his name is stupid. <laughs> Are we going is or Trafka, what? Does that mean cod? Cod? I, my, did I get that wrong? Are you translating cactus as Russian? Uh, you can go, and I need to think. Excuse me. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Tresca puts on a cunning smile. I bite my lower lip in frustration. It's lower lip. I'll be honest with you. I don't like you. He simply bursts out laughing in reply. I do like you, though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way. Our trip to the store went fine, if not for the fact that Tresco was walking way faster than me, and on the other hand, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying the ground underneath his feet. In the end, the trip looked took, took a lot longer than it should. After reaching the store's doors, we were greeted by a sign. We're closing in 20 minutes. Who had the bright idea to indicate their working hours in this way? They probably have special staff for this. Someone who runs to change the sign every five minutes. It's convenient. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. It's much better than and, um, being boring. How old are you, by the way? Hmm? Uh, can we, uh, can we pretend that, uh, airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? N no. It's... <laughs> it's... How old are you? None of your business. <laughs> and what's your name? None of your business. I was ready to slap the living hell out of the brat. Bathsheba. But a scary looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's holding a card with a sign that says we're closing in 15 minutes. Oh, Let's go. What are you waiting for? Uh, oh yeah. Watch the O guy came back. After another round of going across the long row of canned products, we realize we're lost. I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I am. Um, this image looks like it's just a photograph that yeah. the developer took and then uh, tried to make its own. Yeah. Stuff like that's pretty cool. I, I try to I like incorporate photos into some stuff. And it's it's, it's kind of quick and um, fun to play around with. It's also artistic because you have to set the boundaries to, to, to get it right, to get the thing you want. Maybe we should ask somebody for directions. Sure. Oh, just opening random things. Hey, wait up. Tresca, let go of my Tresca, let's go of my hand and walks confidently towards one of the few store's customers. That person is standing with their backs to us, studying um, something on the shelf. Uh, hello, can I? I can't hear neither the second part of his question nor the reply he gets. But my good-for-nothing friend freezes in place, looking the customer straight in the eye. I hurry towards them. Is he yours? 
The customer talks to me. He speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. I, um... If he's yours, please get him away from me. Yes, I'm sorry. I grab Tresca's hand and lead him away. He's still looking at the customer. His mouth ajar and eyes popped. He's also shaking. What? He leads away the guy? No, the Tresca. Um, only way we turn around the... Only when we oh. turn around the corner, Tresca comes down. What was that? I... I got scared, he said. What? No, not again. Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? You don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. Annoying other people is still wrong, though. This is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. Snip. Who... who, me? Tresca pushes me away and runs off. Oh. Drat. At the edge of my vision, I see the store staff hang a new sign on the door. There you are. I meet Tresca at the cash register before. Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey, you, move. I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of a long queue that has formed after Tresca. I squeeze through towards him. What happened? The boy doesn't respond. He just looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him home next time. People in the queue oh. nod in agreement. Pay for the goods, please. Yes, of course. And the waiting fee. What? You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Dreska starts giggling all of a sudden. And for the fact that your son is a retard, too. <laughs> I mean... But you heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw the so banknote at the cashier. Place. Of much higher value than needed, even counting in all the stupid fees. Then grab a bag of milk and turn around on my heels. We're leaving, Tresca. Oh, uh, G's being more confident in her dream and yeah. just kind of playing the role of her. Yeah. When she went to the, the thing, to the store. she was nervous and she was seeing people as monsters and stuff. And when she, when she like went to the cashier, she had a bag of milk and she was like, can I have the bag of milk? He's like, you already have that. And so she puts it down and they just wait. She doesn't realize that she has to pay for it and you as the voice can tell her to pay for it or yeah. whatnot. Then she gives money and I, I assume that she paid too much anyway. So it's kind of retracing it in, mm. in a sense, but is the one experiencing it yeah it's showing she's seeing people as normal is because she's not experiencing the anxiety that kind of twists her yeah uh, and vision. showing her, her her own i guess old point of view yeah um, and it's odd nice. because she keeps on saying that tresk is hers well no people saying, well, people say well, yeah and is he yours like, yeah. Which I think could indicate and I was like, he's what, what, part is of a psyche. Pretending like he's his son, but I think it's that, no. that Psych the it's... anxiety that Tresk is experiencing, she has. Yeah. It's hers. It, that's it's... her anxiety separate from her. It's a part you of know? her. It... Hmm. I think that's a good reading. Um, Cactus brings up Tresca in Russian is codfish in English, which is, yeah. Okay, so I, Very I, I bizarre. got cod. Hmm. No idea why it would be uh, codfish. There might be some symbolism there. Um, we not. There could be not. We spend the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right towards the gas station. There, Tresca, uh, Tresca finally breaks the silence. Do you like ice cream? Yes, this is why she brought the ice cream. No. Okay. I look at the boy's face. A light flickers in his eye for a brief moment and then goes out. You know... He turns away from the path and walks straight That's towards fine. the highway with determination. I stare at his back confused. Cool shoes. His boots were made for walking. It seems like you're not helping me at all. A new playful light flickers in Tresca's eyes. Oh, symbol. 
Milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. A game by Nikita Krikov. Fiukov. Thank you, Nikita. Yes. Great by Nikita Krikov and oh. Maho. Maho? Yeah, Maho Maiden. God, we're not gonna. Programming. Uh, by Nikita. I'm, I'm not a shot at this. And death. Tree call. Maybe that's the location she was in while she did it. Visuals. Ghost funeral. Cool. Cool ass name. Yep. Animation. Lena Chrome and Clematista. The visuals and animations have been really cool in this. Animations have been a nice. Music and sound design. Uh, Nikita, Bleep, Beep. Shio, William Charles Proctor, uh, Zissin, Pacific Ocean, Wahumi, well, and I know Danahobi. I'm by. <laughs> uh, English translation, aesthetic, aesthetic dialectic. That's a That's cool a good one. name. Aesthetic dialectic. Like that. Special thanks to MD like Dalligren, Noah Lenia, Kevin S, Mike H, Selkie, Monte Bizarro, Crispin, Flip, Ben M, Beaver, Fading Glimmer, Spence PF, Nicholas G, uh, Russian name, Eli Murad. I swear to God, I, I see Nicholas G in a couple YouTubers' um, patron things. Okay, and that's, that's the game. Yeah, that was a strange ending. Yeah, um, we it, could... The, the symbol that she showed that was at the end when she woke up crying... Mm. I'm a little bit confused why she was crying, but, you know, maybe... Uh, but the symbol that she showed was the symbol that she showed in the first one when she said that she doesn't like uh, the letter O. Yeah. I guess because it's also a loop or a cycle or something. But she just has a... Um, uh, what's it called? Irrational association with it. Hmm. Uh, it could be some kind of void. Um, although yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't too focused on the orb or whatever. I was more focused on the dream and then it ending and her reaction. Um. Yeah, I, could... I just thought that the orb might have been it. Sign a hint at maybe loop again. I guess the first game was a loop about going out constantly having to get milk now and again, you know? Yeah, uh, this one didn't quite seem like that. I, yeah, I, I liked it. I definitely feel like it, it didn't tray its uh aesthetic. No, we delve back it, into it. It evolved. It wasn't as much as the monster thing. There was the stuff at the start. But it kind of disappeared, and I think that was because she was in her own home and she wasn't having that. Yeah, she's safe in her room. Yeah, and it's a different. I I enjoy that because it's anxiety takes a very different form outside than you it does mm. in your own bedroom. Yeah, uh, I like the dialogue a lot. I dialogue think was very snappy. Uh, I don't think it was. As solid, but I also liked how it... it was also longer. There was also a lot more of it. I can't comment on dialogue too much because... Yeah, it, it um, was nice to see the version. room and the objects and stuff. And mm. yeah, it would have been cool. I love the room and the text fireflies. Input, but I guess it didn't. There wasn't too much of that in the original one. Yeah, there was. Um, there's some nice concepts. The music was pretty good. Oh, I really music. Liked the guitar. Yeah, the music, the music was the great. Restart was interesting. There were sometimes some tracks that I didn't like or sounded a little bit generic, but you know, some interesting samples, some uh, obscured vocals. Uh, I re again, I like the guitar. I like some of the what sounded like digital piano use. Mm. That was nice. Characters, uh, some some chipper tunes also on the radio, which were yeah, really fun. Yeah, the radios are really fun. Characters brought up that the game has no QTs, and so it's unfortunately it's gonna have the zero zero out of ten. Um, it's uh, yeah, that, um, 
Although, actually, I do feel like it did a better job at um than at Silent Hill Homecoming at having a sunny environment gone wrong. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Screw you, Silent Hill Homecoming. Uh, much better than Silent Hill Homecoming. Nice, nice and short too. Although there seems to be replay value. Um. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of replay value in the original game, but like replaying it maybe once more because I only got two out of the three achievements in my playthrough. Yeah, so there's um ten achievements in this. I'm just gonna bring up some tunes. Um, <coughs> let's um. Uh, Oh, game was interesting. Yeah, and I'm glad it didn't get too edgy because with the more anime aesthetic, I was worried that it would uh, that would be indicative of um, the tone, maybe. Uh, well, the first one was more raw and had that Atari kind of aesthetic. Uh, but I, I think that aside from the very start, it the nice tone... That, that I think at heart was more honest and whimsical, um, but I can see why people might show that uh, might might think that it looks a bit edgy. Um, and definitely, I would prefer having this game over a bottle of water. Yeah, well, that was the last game, though, right? <laughs> Reviews. <laughs> yeah, it was an awful review on Steam that said they wish they bought a bottle of water. <laughs> Instead of the game. Hmm. I definitely do don't agree. Yeah. I do want to look at um, mm -hmm. achievements. Um, because I guess they're all hidden. So, um, I only got three out of ten. Um, yeah. With the, the game. With the Duma thing. I, I think kind of. But I think it's more so that she just had a very particular way of navigating her anxiety. Which restricted her... Th yeah. Things. Uh, I wouldn't particularly boil it down to a certain aesthetic. I I wouldn't say it's like to Duma, um, because of just there is sparks of light in there. To be honest, and I think... obviously she's just a character in a game, so she can't be too complex. But I feel like it she's wasn't pretty complex. Trying to hmm. express a very specific thing. I think it was more so the meandering set and uh, uniqueness of somebody who is often trapped in their thoughts with not too much outsider intervention hmm I think it's I, I think it's quite it, it can be quite deep and interpretive it it depends on who you are and your experience um so the achievements I got were first death I died and felt something uh you won't get it you're not even trying. And good night. Um, with the subtitle in Russian for good night, I imagine. Um, although I could probably copy that into the chat. And cactus can translate. But I, I, I it's probably good night. Um Okay. Uh I do wanna look up um milk outside a bag how many endings yeah how does she feel about spiders there are five endings she likes spiders um she hates spiders Is there a spider boss fight she hates silent hill homecoming so she hates cockroaches and she likes fireflies and sometimes fire cockroaches turn into fireflies apparently they go in her ear You're cold, they're cold. Bring them inside and put them in your ear. Um, so the endings are... Um, shop ending, phone ending, mirror ending, room and field ending, and stairs ending. Um, I was told I'm deeply disturbed. I smiled and said... Thank you for noticing. Please, please don't. Um, the nice guy loses his patience. The devil shivers. Give me achievement photo thing you post in. The thing you posted in chat isn't readable. Okay, sure. Give me a sec. 
Uh, I have so many things open. What the heck? <laughs> what is this? What do you? What is what? Just looking at Joker quotes, right? But then I found something he was quoting about the Joker movie. He said, "If Joker is too dark to watch, it means our society is too dark to live." Which I find very funny. I'm gonna stop looking at Joker quotes now. You'd really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. Uh, that's what you see. Come on. I'll just post to. Uh. Um, I have a, I have a thing. You have a thing? Yeah, so, I, I hinted at this earlier, um, when you were gone for a second. But sure. I have DJ Clark with me, right here. Um, and I, uh, made a song for you, and I can, DJ Clark can do a live performance if you want. Okay. Um, I'm gonna send you... Sure, but before that, I just want to say I think okay. we got the default ending of the game, um, and there default are ending. there are four others. Um, hmm. Not rational words. I I I feel like I'm okay with that, and if people want to play the game for themselves, uh, they can, because uh, there's more content. And also, maybe I'll play the first one again, milk inside a bag, and then milk outside a bag again, and try to go for more endings. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. So, what do you? What were you talking about? Let's cut the. DJ Clark. DJ Clark's here, brother. DJ Clark. Um, I made. A instrumental. <laughs> okay. For the stream. Okay. I'm gonna. There's gonna be a live performance. Oh, it's not Russian. I've word. sent the instrumental to you. On Discord. Could you just play it to confirm? Yeah, that's a good one. Could you play it to confirm that the stream. You can hear the instrumental on stream. Um, I would guess yes. Just click play the first couple seconds to hear if you can hear it. I'll turn it up. Yeah. It it definitely. Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. Oh, just stop it. Um. S stop it. Oh shoot! Tell That's me. A... Tell me when you're ready. How? Oh shoot! Okay, so. I don't know, I have to hit, if I hear it on stream and then do, do it while it's on stream, it's going to be delayed. Can you share your audio with me? Can I share yeah, my, uh, yeah, if I, your stream. I could try to, sure, no, I, can I, Hang on, I'd have to stream. Yeah, because I could hear the game volume. That so was, you stream. Mm, I'd have to stream Discord to you. Yeah. Let's uh, do it. sure. I hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> okay, but it's gonna be delayed for you anyway. No, 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 no. It'll be okay. Okay. Tell me when you're ready, then. Okay, press press play if you can hear it. You might have to turn it up. Can hear it. Can you hear it? No? No. You know what? Tell me when you press play at zero, zero, zero. I'll press play at the same time, and I'll just do it from my end. Sure. Okay. Put me down. One. Oh, no. Three, two, one, zero. I'll go. Three, two, one, zero. This is going to be so awesome. I made this for you last night. I love because you, you're so cool. <laughs> this is gonna be so embarrassing. Oh yeah, let's oh, go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, shoot, I forgot. Oh yeah. And then there's a cool bloke, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mercy and his folks. Oh, Started off yeah. with Joey Ferrello. Oh. And there's a stand-up fella. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So it's, he's on Twitch. Did a full out New Vegas randomizer. It's lit. Scratch that full out itch. Or it's milk outside of bag time. Beautiful audience. I think the horse is from oh. you. <laughs> Might have yeah, been. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Might have been a bit loud. Where the heck did you get that audio from? What do you mean? The oh Where yeah. What? Oh, yeah, that was a sample. Yeah, from yeah, it was like the horse. We got some horse. No, where did you get the oh yes from? It was a sample. From yeah, from oh, when? The Just... Audio tool sample library. It it's not my voice. Not you? Oh, I thought you took it from me. Oh, that was you? I don't know. I thought you got a weird clip of me. No, I... You can't say the horse was way too no, loud. No, not not the horse. That It'll horse. Never be a, too loud of a horse. The horse was pretty loud. Okay, that was uh, bizarre. You like my rapping. I meant DJ Klotz rapping. Yeah, that that should go into studio, I think. Yeah, that can be your stream. Your uh, uh, can be your Twitch channel song now um i think that might be a bit much oh but... yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> okay <laughs> um so we finished milk outside a bag um yeah. let's get an actual recording of it that's up to freddy uh he, he can add it to his next album if he wants <laughs> but yeah guys i'm dropping my album in a few weeks i have no idea what it's gonna be called check it out man it's it's um Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah mm-hmm. Or it should be horse noises. Diss track. I don't know what I'd do horse if track. Freddy diss track. Screw you me. horses. Oh if horse. If I diss track. track you, you would have no uh recompense. I'd do it I I'd, I'd do a take. You have to get video. Yuki to, to help you fly back. I draw you like a really <laughs> racist character of you doing draw horrible me as a things. Brony. Yeah, like <laughs> Freddy commissioned me this this brony fan art. Uh, um, thank you for the commission, uh, 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 Freddy. Uh, 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 here's your persona <laughs> that you asked me to draw. Playing Welshman. Yeah, you got ideas. Nice creative stream. So, I'm the flying Welshman. That sounded kind of Welsh. Um. Okay, we finished. We finished milk outside a bag. Um, yeah. Up to you whether you want to continue uh, and do other things. It's about I have like another hour. Another hour. Do you, what? What do I have you want? Another hour, and then I need to go. Okay. Would there be something uh, like any of the games we could try for an hour? Um. Oh, oh, game to. Tr you mean like you have a little list, right? Yeah, I send it to you. Yeah, it's a little back because I keep you know, sending me stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh, I like to send you stuff. Hang on, how do I? Feel I... Like we have the similar humor, so when I see something, I'm how like, how do oh, I? I uh... No, I'm joking. Uh, I'm just gonna like boop it to you like that. Thanks. Do Dead oh, Rising? Uh, we could play an hour of Dead Rising. That's a bit. I don't really know how Dead Rising. Uh, oh, Dead Rising, one yeah, of my favorite Silent games. Silent Hill, Pool Baroness demo. Rising, uh, Yumi Kiki. I think Yumi Nikki LSD. I don't know if we can do those right now. Um, LSD. I need to get Yumi Nikki. Someone else wanted to watch, or maybe be a part of. Uh, we could try My Friendly Neighborhood. Um, and knock that out early. Uh, which is the puppet game. Uh, as well. Oh. Don't you have? Don't you have? Do you not have anyone? Hosting, like co streaming with you, the friendly neighborhood, yeah. No, no one's really. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Because I have that download, I don't even, I don't even know what that is. So, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm interested. it's I, I, I don't know too much. It's a puppet like horror kind of thing. Yeah, let's boot that up. Oh, well, the puppet game is really long. No, I think he's talking about Dead Rising. Okay. Uh, Dead, yeah, uh, Dead Rising. I put on there just to kind of um have fun if I needed extra time. Because right. I I like that game. It's silly. I I wasn't yeah. I wasn't gonna finish it. Um. Okay. Can we all see? 
Oh, I need to stream yeah. for you. Oh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, do you wanna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. 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 Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, no, I don't wanna give anyone seizures. Sorry, guys. Um... Still morning. And I should probably change the Twitch thing, right? Just gonna update the stream title and everything. Uh, is that just a session or? No, this is. I have a really janky setup. Adjust your exposure oh. until the moment the left hand Norman disappears. Then he will become Ow. your friend. Oh no. Ow. By the way, I love Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, so. I haven't seen it. Sh should like this. My friendly neighborhood. New game. Slot one. No more. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner, Hobbit. Well, no getting back up that way. The heck is this is already already so into this. Oh. Let's have good shower and dinner. Uh, where do we go? Let's check over Scored. here. Let's... Discord is streaming this at Team FPS. Yeah, is it bad? Stream. It's, uh, it's bearable, but I might just watch your stream. Okay. Because it's in 60, oh, I'm pretty dear, sure. Oh dear, oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, haven't a clue. Never come down here myself. Ricky. What? Oh, that's What's so cool. I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? Look, you gotta give up this nonsense. About the antenna looks very bad, very unprofessional. It's my job. Look, Gordy, I know our routine. Love this so already. Little, but don't judge a show by its pilot. Incidentally, I would hide again. What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing, but doesn't like it when people intrude on his territory. Tends to get a bit grouchy. One might say, assault happy. Great. All of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the button. Didn't help, though. <laughs> elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevator. Still trying to fix the really, window. Gordon, I, I know. The cables Where did are you break it? Busted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go. <laughs> I I you like know, this. I love this puppet thing. I like like the contrast between yourself and the puppets. Ooh. This acting is awesome. Oh, this is cool. I love puppets. This menu is great. Hmm. Oh. We had Discord and Discord Discord intro. Kind of scary. Oh shoot! Just shooting him. What the hell, dude? Hmm. I don't have a. Why shooting him? Uh, can we go a different way? Oh, we can. Cause it. I don't know. The end. The they they didn't start attacking you. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really funny. 
When enemies are knocked over, you Ozzy. can tape them. Ozzy, where's this D4? Oh. Ozzy, where did you put the plastic explosives? I need them. Reload! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a horror game, this is hilarious. Push me over. So we can tape them. Okay. Stop taping them. Oh, candy bar. Magazines. Okay. Alright, yeah, what are we shooting as well? Bioshock with no? bits of Bioshocks. Oh, look at him. Remember that? Do you, have you watched the Muppets movie? The, the more recent one? Oh, with oh, the... I think it was released in like 2014. I... I no, I don't think so. I watched some of the older ones. 2011. Uh oh, don't fall. Gotta get this right. Oh, puzzle. Uh, yeah, it's 2011. Damn. It's the one. It's the one where it's like two brothers. One of them's a puppet. The other one's getting married, and it's, it's really funny because they have like a musical thing. And they're both unsure about their identity because of each other. They don't know if they're men or Muppets. Oh. Sounds kind of because interesting. Because the influence over each other has straddled the line, so they're like. There's a little rendition for you. They're like, mm -hmm. Am I a man? Or, or a, am I a Muppet? Muppet? Am I a Muppet? If I'm a man, then I'm a Muppet of a man. <laughs> then, and the next verse, they're like, If I'm a Muppet, then I'm a very manly Muppet. A very manly Muppet. <laughs> Pretty funny. Due to ongoing renovations at the deepest stages, a high security door has been installed to keep puppets out of the construction zone. Every employee has issued a set of punch cards opening the door. If you lose your punch cards, this machine can be used to generate replacements. Oh. I have to view your notes. Okay. Uh, looks like it needs power. Power. Gotcha. The game really just throws you in. Well, it's a demo. Oh, it's Ooh. a demo. Okay. Use key. Have a smiling day. Have a smiley day. Smile a day to you. Tools. What if you opened it up and it was you? Oh, shells. This is our stuff. Health though lacks. So it looks in like a storage yeah. inventory management, like Resident Evil. I was thinking that jazz music. Oh, I'm gonna start. Well, should take the basement map. I to open the map. Slide is here. This goes. Oh, oh somebody drew a little map. Yeah, that's cute. This oh, is this. one hundred times better than the Silent Hill Homecoming map. And they both look hand drawn. Heal station, is... public save station. Okay. This We've... does give me Bioshock vibes too, though. Oh, square two, triangle minus one, circle six. Thanks. To throw things in. Does it? Is it saying? I don't know. We just keep that in mind, I guess. Hmm. I feel like, based on um. Is there something down here? Just an X. Um, we need a key there, I think. Um. Or is this connected? I, I was looking up, uh, I was trying to search for my friend Pedro on Steam, and I typed, and I just did it again, my friend, my friendly neighborhood. Oh. I typed in my friend, and there's some, there's some strange Steam games. My friend Peppa Pig, which is an official Peppa Pig game, and that's it's like great. $40. I love that one. It's, 
uh, My Friend Stalin, which is not a game, but it, it's an application that makes a bad 3D model of Stalin appear on your desktop. Hmm. Which I find a odd place to buy such a thing. So this game, this game isn't out. Oh. This game is still in development, right? Yeah. Voice acting is amazing. Yeah, it's great. My voice is a bit funny because I've been ill the last few days. Wish oh. I could imitate these guys. Hey! Who's there? It's Book of the Wit. Sounds like Andre. Andre of Astora? Yeah. It's a title screen. Hey buddy, you friendly? Sounds like the least friendly. He might be friendly. There's nothing in you. Barely see anything. Might download this demo too. Oh, oh shoot. Jeez, that gave me a scare. What was that? In the vents, or in the walls, Caleb. Oh, do we need to add this to the machine? Uh, looks like part of it's missing. Hmm. Name's Gordon. No. Gordon. Imagine being called Gordon Morgan. Wow. Hey, buddy. So we need a part. A single part. <coughs> Only a part, lay. Only partly missing. I love my donkey and my swamp. I'm sorry. Episode 27, segment 6. Raise pot plumbing nightmare. Uh, uh, interlude. Ray set, I think. Uh, Ricky enters Ray set. Looking around for Ray. Ricky. Oh boy. Where's Ray? Ray. Ray. The room, the room shakes. The water splashes down from the ceiling. Ricky, oh my goodness, what is happening? Ray emerges from the pipe, holding a plunger. Ricky, there you are, Ray, what's going on? Ray grumbles and points with the plunger. Ricky, what, people are trying to get rid of their problems by flushing them down the toilet? Laundry taxes, blackmail. Ray, these are parts of life, you can't ignore them. Song number, don't flush away your problems. Wow. As the song ends, the room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Ricky... Ray, if we don't get this problem taken care of, won't the whole sewer system explode and destroying the entire city? That's right. Pay your taxes, children. Interesting. For the puppet. Kid. Pay your taxes. Kids show? Oh, so I don't know how to reload. Ooh. Oh, we have a instant turnaround button. Oh, that's always nice. I, wanted... I never use those. I wanted to reload. Yes, it's more useful on console. Technical guide, remember studio rules 10, 7, and 5. Thermostats are adjusted for equipment and not for personnel. Those studio lights get mighty hot. Stagehand V87 teleprompter protective screens are to be wiped down after each use. The screens are custom reinforced to be puppet friendly, and as a result, the safety glass fogs up at a quicker rate. Uh, Green Pond Super 2 cameras are to always be paired with Hog LDY Deluxe lenses. There is no substitution for Hog LDY. Um, Rover boom mics are to be kept in their blue foam cases in the storeroom adjacent to their corresponding studio. The neighbors love playing with them and they are expensive. Uh, 0M LE3 LKT shotgun mics which remain bolted in their uh, respective positions. Reinforcement are to be checked on a bi-weekly basis. Uh, gray tape is industrial strength gaffer tape and not for storage stage direction. Uh, using the tape incorrectly will result in temporary unpaid from motion to janitorial aid after hours. Um, the lamp 
R4T light board is an old but reliable piece of equipment under no circumstances is it to be upgraded. Tiny neighbors are to be kept out of the tech booths as they will occasionally hop on the board and alter presets. Pulling, fastening or untethering ropes without the supervision of a stage member manager will result in immediate dismissal. Objects are to be fastened with either a lariat loop or a, ooh, a, tim a timber hitch as the neighbors haven't figured those out yet. Hey buddy. You know MatPat's going to make a video on this. Oh no. The He's... Muppets are evil and they eat people. The I Muppets represent Gordon's deep is in the chills voice. desire for friendship. Gordon's desire for blood. The Muppet says that they would rather use horseradish to brush their teeth than any other condiment. This is a reference to the horse instrumental by DJ Clark. Solid. Gordon okay. is afraid of oranges. This is why the boss has bottle caps all over its body. Mm -mm. Much like an orange carton. Um, what was it? C? No, I? No. What is your gun function at? Is it a pistol? I'm not or sure. Like a little shotgun? It's like a pistol. And I pressed the button earlier to open the case. How did I do that? Oh, this. Use? I like how you wouldn't move the caution. chocolate bar closer to the vial. They have to stay separate in their different squares. Oh will swap our legs! <laughs> are they like that because you didn't tie them up? Yeah, I guess. Okay. I guess they don't follow you either, which is nice. They seem, like I said, they seem friendly. Ooh! Shotgun. The novelist. Let's get ready. Let's get riding. Wish I knew how to reload. I hope the gun you not just use R or mouse four or five. Mouse four or five? What? Like the extra buttons on your mouse. I can do this. Something. That's pretty good. What, do, what happens with a shotgun? Oh, there you go. I love his manly hand. It just is so different to the rest of the game. You love his manly hands. Um, I see what you're saying. Know what you're putting down. Mr. Al, I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had time to work out the kinks on our latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it should be useful for stunts, special effects, etc. <laughs> I blasted a couple of Normans with it, and they seem to have fun flying across the, the room. It uses up a lot of letters, though, so try to... To conserve ammo. By the way, a few of the employees might notice their typewriters are missing. Hank. It's Hank. Magazine. Tape. Is it the same one? Yeah. No, someone's been darting that. Cool guy, Nikola Tesla. Money. Magazine. Okay, we have a lot more ammo now. Uh, this way? Oh, whoops. Okay. okay. I guess we're gonna shoot this dude.
I don't know how we get around her. Hmm. Let's go to a safe place. Now stomp him like dead space. Never finished. I only played the first couple hours of that game because I got stuck. Hmm. I only played the first couple hours. Keep meaning cause... to play it. Yeah. I always forget to because it's on freaking Origin for me. Oh. Not Origin. Took away my Mass Effect 2 copy. They gave me a free one, and I was like, thanks. And then one day I booted it, I booted up Origin, and it was just gone. And I was like, oh, they took it from me. Nice. Mm. Hmm. Oh, you! Yeah. So, I think it colors in the areas you completed. Um, raise stage. But we, we need to find something. It has to be, like, behind her then, right? We need more tape, though. I guess... Holy moly! No, shoot ladders. Yep. My guess is they get back up. They get back up, like, after you move into the area. Yeah, what does it spell? Are you shooting random ones, or do they spell something? I think we're shooting random ones. Yeah. Benny! It's, it might, it yep. might be like in Enter the Gungeon, where you fire the gun and it spells out bullet with letters. Okay. Oh. Bullet. Benny, could you walk me home after the show, shoot today? I'm feeling a little unsettled after the mugging on Great Street a couple nights ago. It seems like the city is getting more and more violent every day. Sometimes I feel like the only safe place is the neighborhood. I know it's silly, but it means a lot to me. Mr. Greswold usually lets me go around 6.30. Meet me in the office lobby? Julia. The heart. I would walk Julia home. Okay. Can I have that? Put the hat on. Down. Put the hat on, Best Sheba. Best Sheba. Sheba. Educating the world. MFN. Pay your taxes. Oh, duct tape. Health. Do not look at the top shelf. When you <laughs> uh, is that an alive one or is that like a. Will we just pick up? I think it's dead. A puppet without life or is it one that has died? We'll keep it in the thing anyway. Puppets have people in them, right? Metal piece. Whoa! Ah! God, this game. Oh, that was you. Are you making noise? You're really quiet. You sound far away. I can't hear you. I'm a, I'm a equal, equally talented voice actor as these. Oh, you would. Ah, I see. Oh. Indistinguishable. Metal piece. Yeah. Where do we need the metal? Ah. Oh. Uh, triangle was minus one. Oh. I think circle was plus six and square was plus two. Mm, I don't think we have everything though. We I think we need to go to the weird stage again. How does, it, how does the game feel? It feels really good. It, it definitely plays really nice. Very smooth. I've never heard of this developer before. 
Have they made anything? Uh, the developer are the individual names. They seem to be related. John and Evan uh, Skymansky. Uh, the publisher is Dread XP. Okay. Individuals, John Skymansky. Are they made... associated with like the Dread X collection? Um... I don't know. I don't know anything about these people. Um, John oh, has shit. made a game called Rubber Ducky and the Rainbow Gun. There's also a free game called Sumo Revice. Uh, Evan helped him with Sumo Revice. That's it. Seems like John might be made. Whoa! Jesus Christ, what just happened? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, there was one guy who exploded into a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> like how they keep talking even when they're tied up. Hmm. Yeah, it's odd because the other two games they've made are like super super simple it's like they look like flash games like very very simplistic and now they're working on this one it seems to run real real good so pretty crazy yeah i don't know how much like additional support they have but the developers are listed as just the two individuals okay Maybe they might just be leading it, or not. I don't know if they have everything sorted out on the Steam page, or uh, stuff like that, because it's still in development. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's really smooth so far. Yeah, it's very impressive looking, too. But again, the voice acting. Cool save. How did you find? How did you hear about this game? Uh, it was on. Um, it was just on one of the, I think, Steam Next Fests. Um, right. And, and then I, I caught a little bit of of Super Eye Patch while playing it, but um, I didn't see too much. Hmm. Very so. interesting. The, uh, oh yes, this the publisher. Two minus one six. He published Sucker for Love. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Arrows plus two, triangles minus one, circle is plus six. How do we minus? A triangle. Yeah, but it's minus one, not plus one. Yeah, so you do square and then triangle if you wanted one. Okay. Uh -huh. You got one. No, that's not it. It's one, two, but then minus, minus that. I'm not too sure what you're trying to do. Well, it says two plus two square minus one triangle plus six circle. Yeah. Yeah. How does that translate? How do you do a minus? One, two, one, one, what, two, what three, four, five, six. Minus. Cause it says minus. Did we get one? That work? I'm confused. Maybe I haven't been paying attention. It said minus in front of it, I swear, but. Oh, you're oh. trying to get three. Okay. I only got to two. Oh, oh, see, I see. I, I get it now. I get it now. So we need uh we need to go back. Oh no, we are at three. Uh X is ten, so we need to get to so that's 10. circle square square. That's pretty clever. It's a cool puzzle. Ah. And 
and then we need it says ix but then crossed with an x but it says vi so seven so seven um how do we get seven eight minus one uh Yep, you got it. So, this puzzle is really clever with how they did it up there. So up there they tell you it's um, the, the rules for this. But the rules for this, if you try to input them in by doing square, square, triangle, circle, 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 if you understood it like how I did, um, you would actually get the first one correct anyway, and then you would like piece it together in your head. That's really clever. I'm I quite too sure how I follow. Wow. How would you get the first one anyway if you didn't know how it would work? So it's... You see oh, the if thing. You just did if you just did square, circle, triangle. If you did square, square, uh, square, square, triangle, circle, 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 those circles wouldn't input in anyway. Um, if you weren't sure, like, how you could only put three in, like, or what was going on. So then it becomes square, square, triangle, and that's three, so you put it in, and then... I don't know. It, it helped me work it out. I, it, it's like a fail safe in a way. Like, Maybe. if they don't think of it this way. No, I just saw it as pretty straightforward, but maybe I, I'm struggling to see what you see because I'm not playing the game and it's intended to be interactive. Maybe. That was... So I was trying to look up the numbers and stuff at the same time. Pretty clever. Hmm. Let's go. I think it's. I mean, some puzzle. I struggle with video game puzzles. Either they're Ooh. super easy or they're just mm. fun and I just get stuck on them. But I do like ones that are slightly challenging and make you think a little bit but aren't, uh, you know, Thank deny you. accessibility. Thank you, Akari the Deer, for following. Oh. Uh, save station. Oh, no, heal station. Fix my window. Oh, Cactus fixed this window. Nice. Good job. Done. Oh, duct tape. Okay. Interesting with the boat. Do we have... Oh, nope. I need to get used to that. Uh, What was the map again? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. We're here? Oh, are we the other side of a door? I think we are. Ah, we're here. Okay. That's cool. Uh, and there's a heal station. I'm in caution. Maybe I should heal. Maybe I should heal wait until we're like in a danger state. Hmm. I definitely, I, I want to try play this when it comes out, I think as well. This is cool. The yeah. And uh, I definitely recommend downloading the is this demo. S tier game. This is S tier game. I mean, it's it can't be an S tier from a, from just yeah. this. It's like a demo. It could be an. Oh. What's the alphabet? What's the alphabet? What's the alphabet? Get shotgunned in the back. <laughs> that shotgun was really satisfying. These guys are kind of weird. Because the Medulla Pit. The Medulla Pit. Let's go fight the Rotten. Oh. Oh no. Strong. They're just stacked. I don't like that. I don't like that. 
This does bring up questions. Are all the puppets alive? Do they get given life? Are these lifeless ones just ones that haven't been given life? Or are they dead ones? No they clue. Swap bodies? I assume the full game will give you all of that. Power. We need power. Classic, uh, like, Bioshock esque. Um... I mean, maybe it's not the best to make comparisons, but it does feel like that with the sound mixing and hearing, like, the um, oh! enemies kind of monologue and just fall over. <laughs> he pushed me. Oh, I wish in video games just now and again, like very, very rarely, you just fall over. Just accidentally fall over. Yeah. Need less sure footed uh, video game protection. Ooh, I'm out of tape. It's like how in War Thunder, 10% of the time the tank should just not work. There should just be a malfunction. The tank. Mmm. Then it, make it so much more fun. Might risk the run of it being boring, but it could be handled well like that. I think it'd just be funny, maybe, in a game where it would fit if you just fall over now and again. I love... It's like, it's like in Divinity, like, whenever you move an inch on ice, you just fall over. Yeah, that's pretty fun. It's kind of fun. I love the angles, that they feel very considered and weird. Like, you're actually yes. looking at them. Yes. Um... Oh, my... Maybe we should move some stuff. Move. Oh no, stash. Uh, oh, 19. Uh, let's stash some magazines. So you use nail on your shoes. Oh! Weird. Nail on you my You ever shoes? stepped on a nail, Caleb? No. You have twice. I don't remember the happened the second time. I don't remember where I was the second time. It it like um it went through my shoe. Um and it scratched it scratched one of my toes. It didn't bleed so I wasn't concerned about like diseases or tetanus or whatever. Yeah. So it scratched it. Another time I was walking down a train track in uh uh Lanethi. Yeah. And there was just a nail pointing up, and I stepped on it, and it went through my sh entire shoe and poked out the other end. It went between my toes. Oh, in Divinity, you use nail in your shoes. Oh. You get, like, snowshoes in Divinity? Maybe, cool. maybe you can craft... Craft it? We've gotten that fire. We haven't really gone to crafting much. I don't feel like we've. I still feel, feel like the game hasn't given us an opportunity to do that yet. Or maybe we're missing something. Hmm. Well, there's. I think there's a lot more to Divinity than we've seen. Uh, uh, well, it must be like 80% of the way through, okay, but... Frank, Ray seemed pretty interested in the sewers lately, so I went ahead and hid the doors, fuses in those lock boxes around the basement. There's one in the hall, puppet stories, the locker room, and the hangout by the punch card machines. Hank. Okay. This is... Okay, we need this. I'm expecting this guy to... Oh, hang on. Interesting. Do we ah? Uh, we have to carry the fuses on us. Okay. Well, let's sta let's stash this one. Uh. Oh. We must be like maybe a fifth or a th fourth. Through divinity. Twen yeah, like twenty or twenty-five percent. Yeah, I f I feel like. 30% maybe, maybe more. What? Oh yeah, there's one. It's gonna give you a hug. Ah! 
I like the mice. Yeah, the mice are really cute. Adorable mouse. Things are very useful. Is it not? Is crafting not present in the early games? Because gone recipes are tough, but. Either don't have the ingredients or the station need one. Maybe it's somewhere in the uh, UI. Mm. Actually, maybe I, I crafted an arrow one. I, I have no idea with the crafting in Divinity. Oh, I would like to use it though, because it would make sense for my character. Oh uh, no. La, la, la. Uh, if we go pipe so, room. Yeah. It's cool that the map fills in with completed and in progress. That's kind of helpful. I don't know how we quite work that out, but you know. Mm, I guess it checks if you picked up everything and done everything in the... Maybe, but they're not often like... Does you it... miss hidden little items. Hmm. <sighs> Well, then it would tell you, like, oh, there's nothing there, so you yes. need to search more. Maybe. Maybe we should heal. Craft shoes with nails at the beginning of the game. Okay. Be Maybe I'm missing something on my character. You know what? I might boot it up right now and check. Now that I have it on my mind. Because I'll probably forget later. Um, where are we? Need to go through. It's cool that the guns work in this game. Like they do damage. Mm. The enemies recoil. It's a really good feature. It's um, it's like a. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> welcome, welcome to our. Oh! This is such a comedic game. Okay. I don't know if we'll be back here, so... Like, uh... RE2 Remake and RE3 Remake. Also make C on map if you pick up all the items. Yeah, I, I think features like that... Very useful. I guess I feel like I just usually don't have the ingredients. For crafting? Yeah, like, there's a bunch of recipes, but I don't have the ingredients. Hmm. Well, we, we probably, like, sell stuff or ignore some items. We could. Oh man. Actually, I wanna grab some shotgun ammo. Cause we had another another bunch of it. Uh oh. Elmo no. Nice start. I love that. It's the horror chill time. You gotta make it sound cool. I yeah, I know. I, I just like. I'm just saying. I like that. Ooh. Oh, what am I doing? I need to move. No. Take. Okay, we are packed. Pack you packing heat. 
So, we need to go. Um, well, we can go all the way through here, or we can try to sneak back around. Ah, uh, let's use the ammo a little. Sometimes we would swap our arms, then we would swap our legs. No! Satisfying. Oh no, I forgot about that. I learned my numbers when I was a kid. There's a lot of repeating voice lines. I don't know if it's the same guy, so at the same time. With how much they talk, like, I feel like that's inevitable, but I, if they can add it, like, a bit more before it's, this... It's the demo, so... Yeah. I don't even know how far in development they are, because I don't think they actually ever released it. Hmm. I think it's assumed that it's not going to be too far away. This is, like, Hopefully. really well done. It does seem like a big project, and this is a fairly large demo, if it's just the two guys. Yeah. I assume they have support, but I don't know if they actually have other developers. So, oh, it tells you how many. That's That's cool. you can do. It's like a game you can really just, it seems like you've just picked it up and, you know, already kind of understanding it and in tune with it, which is always a, a good mark. Hmm, it's very, I uh, just easy. Intuitive. Uh, okay. So we have, uh, um, what is it? Clover. Clover, diamond, heart, and spade. Clover, diamond, heart, spade. Mm -hmm. Merciless. We need tape though. Cutter. I'm out of tape. Uh, hmm. The mechanics are working really yeah, well. Yeah, out of um. Ooh. What is it? Zip, zip ties and payday two. With a bolt cutter. Oh, like tape zip ties. Oh yeah, the big ones. Mm. Yeah, sure. I haven't played payday two in a while. It, it's because it's huge, and you need to download, yeah. like, over 100 gigs. Any bags deployed? Oh, we're back here. Okay. What are we doing, then? Raise stage? Oh, the elevator. Shoot. Let's drive. Just go through. They are. Stretch my back. Stretching. Okay. 
biscuit here. Ooh, what kind? There's no power? I thought we... Chocolate chip biscuit. Let's turn the power on. It's a Vought Mama's Bakery bis chocolate chip biscuit. Ooh. I got some, uh... What is it called? I got some chip ahoys. I've never tried them. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and compare these bought ones. I like I like these ones. I'm not sure where to go right now. I think I need a Silent Hill Homecoming objective marker. You need a glowing ring, like in Mario Tennis, the Nintendo 3DS. Oh, Golden Trail. I can Peter Mo Molyneux. Oh, I don't even know. I forgot even how to say it. Peter Molyneux? Peter Molyneux. Oh, in Fable? Okay. I keep doing this. Okay. Fuse box scraps. Um. So scrap is more than than a brick and oak. Ray seems interested in Suzley, so we went ahead and hit the door. Suzley's in these lock boxes. Okay. I did it right, I think. Yeah, I did it right. But this just loops around. Okay, uh, we have a, a AR for our, our And oh no no no, I know. I think that was a a bolt a bolt cutter for a door. Uh, I keep doing that. Where are we now? We're back here, yeah, yeah. So we want to bolt cut the door. Are you eating the biscuits? I already ate it. Oh. It, so it sounded so like you were eating an apple really loudly. Oh, no, oh sorry. I was just like, having a sip of water. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Nah, that's fine. I was drinking. I was drinking water. Secret. Cheat enough. It'll be cheating. Boss. I'd like to speak to the boss. To I'd like Don. to speak to whoever runs this, this fiasco. Don Taglatello. Hey there, John here. Thank you very much for playing this demo. I hope you've enjoyed oh. yourself. MFN development is progressing fantastically. There will be more to share soon. If you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate a wish list over on Steam. It goes a long way to making yeah. MFN come to life. I've got a different project you can check out too. It's very different from this one, but may may strike your fancy. Oh, one other thing. It might be worth taking a second look around the basement. See you soon. Nice. Cool stuff. Cheats. Mode. Speedrun. Speedrun mode. Camera mode. Wow. It gives you a ton of extra stuff. Uh, it increases the what? 
Does it increase the algorithm viability? Um, I just think it. Yeah, I think it just does shows. That encourage the developers. I think it does a bit of everything. I see a lot. I see a lot of, um, games like when they advertise something, they're like wish li wish list on Steam. Well, they can show. I guess they can show interest, but maybe Steam is also like. Well, it goes into most popular, right? Like most popular upcoming yeah, games. So people see that and they're like, "Oh, I want to try that." And yeah, it's yeah. it's just easy, easier seen. Um, okay. But yeah, I I think that's nice. everything for today. Um, I think you had to go yeah, real, real soon can, anyway. I need to go in a few minutes if you want. Yeah. The last thing or wrap it up. But that was that was really fun. Um, a mil yeah. milk outside a bag was was great. Um, the song stuff was pretty yeah. fun. It added to the story pretty. You know, it 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 continued it straight off pretty much. Yeah. And I enjoyed it. There was some elements which I thought were weaker, but also it was a longer game. It had more content. It's kind of inevitable mm. to have that. But yeah, the only click bit was nice. Yeah, that was. I liked how chill it was at times too. Um, the art was good. Oh, stunning! The that's... music was more varied. That's and I like. I like the guitar a lot again. But probably but... gonna be pretty high on my top games this year so far. Um, mm. a friendly neighborhood too was really fun. Uh, maybe you didn't get the same sense. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it looked really good, and I, I enjoyed it. But I think I I found it hard, maybe a little bit hard to follow because it's very intuitive to the player. Yeah, it, it um, really is. I was is. also half. I was kind of watching it on the side a little bit. Hundred percent, check that out. Um, if that looked interesting. Yeah, I'll probably play the demo myself. To yeah. Better for yeah, and then once I finish the demo, it like unlocked tons of extra stuff to play around with, so I could go yeah, back. Yeah, I saw that. Um. I, I yeah, I'm probably gonna wish like list. chunky demo. Mm, it, it was nice and chunky. Lots of it introduced everything really clearly and was fun and just so charming. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna wish list it for sure and keep an eye on that one. Yeah, and tomorrow you have Resident Evil One remake with Hobbit, right? Yeah, yeah, Hobbit's gonna be around hopefully. Maybe Cactus if he wants to. Uh, up to those two. Uh. Sweet. I'll play some resi. It might be a little earlier and end a bit later. I don't know. It depends. Um, but uh, we'll hopefully play some resi. Uh, I'm so glad we're playing good games. Uh, cause <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I guess. And then I guess all you've done this June was uh, Silent Hill Homecoming. And then Tuesday, we're gonna try to play Laser Fear. Yep, I'm there for that one. Um, Ways of Poop. Another apparently. possibly bad game, but I mean, Homecoming may have like. I, I heard a lot of positive stuff about Layers of Fear. It was mm. on like Game of the Year lists and everything. Uh, and then I remember watching Angry Joe, and he put it on his worst because okay. he found the atmosphere completely ineffective. He found it funny. Yeah. I just thought that was a personal thing. Like, it didn't quite click with him because he seems to be a little bit inconsistent with horror games. Uh, but I have heard it's very subpar. Yeah. Um, it I... just kind of has good presentation and it is. it seems like a good game, but really it is just kind of. Hmm. Kind of bland. I'm. I... The developers behind it. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm coming in with a bit of cynicism. Uh I don't I'm not a fan of, of Blueber team and what they're doing. And they also announced like yesterday layers of fear no. Layer... Yeah, no, I, yeah. Was gonna, La I was gonna bring that up next time. Layers it has the exact of fears. Same title. Yeah, well we'll bring that up when when we get to that stream. I have some thoughts on that. But I have um some things to say also. Uh but yeah, this stream was really good though. Um like Mwah, those games great this is exactly kind of what i wanted i wanted to like get a, get through a few things um this has also opened up a potential slot for uh where neighborhood would be um could go back and i could just have a break day or play a different different game 
um we'll see because it's pretty packed lots of lots of days with me playing games um yeah um but yeah is a cool bloke he mm -hmm. is he and his folks started off with joey Pavello. Quentin to... is a stand-up fellow you have to record that. he is on twitch the new vegas randomizer it's niche scratch that fallout itch Oh, it's milk outside of bag time. Beautiful audience. Beautiful audience. Um, yeah. thank, thanks everyone who. DJ Clark, I'll take the mic back now. Okay. <laughs> um, thank, thanks everyone for watching. Um, tuning in. Uh, had a follow, which was really nice. Thank you. And uh, yeah, bye bye. Thanks, Freddy, for joining. Um, we welcome. It was fun. Do you have like an outro? No, we just Noise. we just go. Okay. See you next time, cowboy. Yeah.